Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be an overview of Shopify. I'm going to be doing Shopify editions winter 23 and pretty much it's just going over some of the changes that Shopify has implemented and changes that they are going to implement and I will hope that this video will just give you all an idea of the services and tools that Shopify um, is going to come out with and like I mentioned shop the tools that Shopify already has come out with. Um, I'm not going to get too too in depth in this video but I am going to give you the point of reference so if you do want more information you'll be able to go directly to this point of reference and get more information. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to dive right in and I'm going to ask that you all give the video a thumbs up, make sure that you are subscribed and going to get right into it. So over 100 product updates to help businesses and developers build for the long term is what Shopify is focusing on in this particular article. Um, it goes over boosting conversion, lightning phase pad page downloads everywhere. So no matter where your customers are shopping, their newly expanded global infrastructure ensures they get an incredibly fast experience by efficiently routing traffic and rendering sites as close to their locations as possible. Um, it also goes over the one page checkout. So the checkout you know and trust is getting a major overhaul. This year, they're rolling out with an all new one page checkout inspired by ShopPay's proven conversion. It's faster, higher converting, and exactly what your customers expect. So I do have a whole video on ShopPay. If you're wondering what is ShopPay, um, how do I enable ShopPay, any of that good stuff. Like I mentioned, I have a whole video on ShopPay. It is in my business playlist. So after this video, if you want to check out that video along with other videos similar, be sure to do that. Or you can also go to the search bar and type in Brittany Bundles ShopPay and that video should pull up. Shopify also goes over drag and drop checkout editor, so you can easily edit the look of your checkout with a new checkout editor, which seamlessly integrates with ShopPay for a consistent brand and buyer experience, but it is exclusive to Shopify Plus, um, so it's not available on the basic plan at this point. Um, if you are wanting more in-depth information regarding this article, you can log into your Shopify store, and um, this may pop up depending on when you log in, when you're watching this video. If you are watching this video months later, I suggest that you go to the Shopify Help Center and type in the specific um, like service or app that you're interested in so that you can find all the information listed there. Shopify is really, really good with making sure that they outline all of the, the details and the, the highlights and key points that are necessary um, when you are looking to get more information on a specific portion within Shopify. Um, I really enjoy using Shopify. One of the coolest features that stuck out to me is what I'm on currently. So their AI generated storefront content. Um, one of the highlighted points reads, use Shopify magic to beat writer's block and automatically create product descriptions. When I saw that, I was really, really shocked. I'm like, what, what is this? So um, I want to introduce you all to AI generated product descriptions powered by Shopify magic. And I'm going to read one of the highlights here in the article. It mentions Shopify is here to help and getting started is simple. Just list a few details about your product or keywords you want to rank for in search engines and the tool will automatically generate a product description for you right on the product setup page and your store's admin. Writer's Black is now a thing of the past. This is so huge. As a business mentor and uh, someone that does business consultations with a lot of different businesses, one thing that I hear from business owners in different uh, fields is struggling with creating product descriptions. And so now that this is going to be an option where you can type in information about the description and Shopify's um, AI can now write product descriptions for you is amazing. I think it's going to take so much weight off of entrepreneurs' plates um, because that is something that some people struggle with. And they go over uh, more information. So... Um, 
I'm going to read another tidbit here. It says, now your time to launch products on your website and start making sales is faster than ever. For merchants with large product catalogs, you now have the ability to quickly generate enticing product descriptions and a consistent tone across your online store. No matter how many products you offer, you now have a built-in wordsmith in your admin, giving you more time to focus on running your business. Many merchants will start seeing the Shopify magic icon in their admin today and over the coming months. Are you ready to try AI-generated product descriptions but don't see Shopify magic in your admin? Well, you can now sign up for the wait list and be one of the first to experience, experience excuse me, Shopify magic when it becomes available. So you can click join the wait list and go ahead and try that out. I think that's super cool. I actually may do a completely separate video going over that, um, especially when it launches because that feature, it's probably one of my favorites um, in this article. I was just blown back when I saw that. Um, they also go over additional information. So um, you can do updates to your subscription APIs. You can create channel specific discounts. Um, and then below some of the features that Shopify is offering, it has an option where it says try it in your store. So you can try these features in your store. Some of the products um, or services like I mentioned or like I just showed you, you may have to sign up for the wait list um, or you may have to just be a little bit more patient and wait before it becomes available. But I think it's really, really cool that Shopify has done all of this. One of the things that I think separates Shopify from a lot of different e-commerce sites is the fact that they continuously stay innovative. So Shopify doesn't just drop a new feature once and then you don't hear from them for like years or drop a few features every couple months and then they go missing for like a year and then they have different updates and it's not like that like shopify is very good with staying consistent relevant and constantly doing all that they can to make our jobs more seamless as entrepreneurs so as i'm talking i'm still going to be scrolling down so you can see some of the other changes that shopify um, has implemented and some of the new tools and services that Shopify is offering. Um, gift cards now integrate with POS. When I did a video on POS, I remember going over different um, equipment that you can couple with your POS system. But now they have a POS Go, so all-in-one mobile selling software. So in-person sellers can stay on top of business with the latest, with yeah, their latest mobile point of sale POS device. There's no separate tablet or card reader needed with POS Go. So you can stay connected to your business at a fraction of the cost of other setups, only available in the United States. So you can go ahead and buy POS Go as well. And um, I think that's really interesting because it just thinking if I had to go to a pop up shop or if I wanted to. Um, even reopen another brick and mortar location, being able to do all of the functions directly from my cell phone is just, I want to say it's like a dream come true, but it's so much more efficient, you know, in my opinion. I can just imagine how things will go, not having to bring a tablet or worry about, um, actually, when I was running my salon, um, I didn't have a tablet. I was working off of a cash register and a card reader system so and that was about i think like four years at this point four years ago so it's been a while but i'm just looking at all of the different um, progressions that shopify has come up with over the course of you know years and it's it's really amazing and so again if you are wanting to switch over your e-commerce um, platform to shopify now is a great time to do so. Be sure to click the link down below this video and go ahead and do that. Um, they also go over Markets Pro. Um, so you can grow your business globally with Markets Pro, a complete solution that offers end-to-end -end liability management, cost-effective cross-border shipping and fulfillment and localization tools. One thing that I liked about the Markets Pro is you can access fraud protection on every cross-border order and protect refunds from currency fluctuations with guaranteed foreign exchange, which is really cool. So if you do have an issue with fraud or you know, you're, you're looking into a refund, you don't have to worry about getting lessened or cheated out of any of your money based on the currency fluctuations. Um, I really think that that's a thoughtful 
good process that Shopify has implemented um, or that is going that they're going to implement because you can join the wait list. They go over quantity rules. So you can now create quantity rules for products and variants, including minimums and maximums, case packs and in increments. So that is cool as well. Um, right now on the screen, you can see some of the different highlights. So create custom, custom logic for B2B, um, meta fields for companies and locations, and just so much. Now in this article, they do have videos too. So that's why I mentioned that if you want more information, if you want to dive deeper, I would recommend going into your Shopify store, clicking this article and being able to really go through um, take some time if you want to and pull up the videos and really dive in deep um, with the services and tools that you are interested in implementing for your store. What I like to do on this channel is give a brief overview to let you all know what's out there. And then if you want to dive deeper, I let you know where the point of reference is so that you can do so. And then also, if you do have questions, I like to think of us here as a community of entrepreneurs. So, um, you know, I, I want to be able to help in any way that I can. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer the questions. Um, but not just me. If there is anyone watching this video that can answer the questions, I'm sure that they will do so as well. Or if anyone wants to go over their experiences using any of the services or how they think the services may um, help their business, you're free to leave that below as well. Um, so I'm just scrolling down so you can see some of the other updates, features, and services that Shopify has offered or that they are going to offer. Um, you can leverage creator partnerships with Shopify Collabs. So that is something to look into as well if you are interested in collabing. I think that's really thoughtful and really cool. So um, they're still going over some information here. And I'm just scrolling down so that you can see capture emails with Shopify Forms. And it explains what Shopify forms are. Goes over secure pass keys and just a lot of cool stuff. So looking through this today, um, I'm sure, I'm sure I speak for a lot of entrepreneurs when I say there's at least one or two things that stick out um, that could be useful to any entrepreneur out there, no matter what field. Um, one of the things that stuck out to me is the AI. That was the first thing that really caught my attention. Like, whoa, this is super, super cool. Um, I am also interested in learning more about their enhanced inventory tracking. So with that, in addition to available incoming and committed inventory states, now get a real-time accurate view of on-hand and unavailable quantities across your locations with Shopify to minimize lost sales, misplaced stocks, and over-ordering. Now, I don't have a brick-and-mortar location, but I am considering doing something in the future um, that will involve another brick and mortar location. And this is really interesting for inventory tracking. Um, I've watched some videos and I've also talked to some entrepreneurs that have their inventory tracking system. And they a lot of people have it set up differently. Um, I know for me, I had a inventory tracking system that I um, used on my computer um, in my home office when I was in my brick and mortar location. But the fact that their inventory system, and I, I've used Shopify's inventory system too, but the fact that it is enhanced now, and I'm just looking at the video um, of the example of how it works really, really intrigues me. So that's not all, but those are just some of the things that stuck out to me. So let me know down below which services or tools stuck out to you, which ones you're interested in using, and, um, you know, let me know your experience too. I'm really excited to hear how the, the, these changes and these tools are going to really upscale a lot of different businesses out there. Um, so if you do want also more from, or if you want to find like specific information on a specific service or tool, you can go ahead and click that grid icon at the top right of the page. And that's going to give you like a table of contents of where everything is at. That way you don't have to scroll like I'm scrolling right now to find exactly what you're looking for. I was actually scrolling just to get back to the top, but 
you can actually get to this particular page if you click on that grid and it gives you like a table of contents like i mentioned so you can choose build conversion sell across channels go global expand with b2b find and engage customers fulfill and deliver run your business build with us and choose your components um, so that's pretty much it i just wanted to go over um, quickly some of the services and tools that Shopify has implemented and will implement very shortly um, or in the near future I should say. Um, again if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below. I do want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! What? <laughs>